Okay, so we've left Owen down at the distillery. We've made our way up to the Cat and Fiddle pub, a little bit further up the hill. It's Forrest's new project. Uh, we're gonna meet Tom here. He's the general manager, AKA Weasel number six. Tom, how's it going, man? Hi guys, welcome to the Cat and Fiddle. So, you can tell us a little bit about the history of the pub um, and kind of what the, what the plans are for the future. Sure. It's a pub that's been around since the 1800s, family owned by the Robinsons Brewery, very similar to the guy like we are down at the distillery. Um, let's take you in, show you around. Sounds great, let's take a look. Brill. All right, so we're in the pub building, Tom. Doesn't look much like a traditional pub. Tell me a little bit about what's going on in this room. So the pub had been shut for the past five years. Right, yeah. uh, the Robinson's Brewery family and also the Bond family decided to kind of collab together. And right, what yeah, we've got yeah. here is a wonderful retail shop. So we've got a really good range of local products. Yeah. Um, and one thing we've just released is our beautiful uh, forest gin and steep soda collab. So what we've got is our hibiscus lemonade and we've also got a infused grapefruit and rosemary soda. That sounds absolutely fantastic. So these are made with uh, our forest gin that we obviously hand make down at the distillery. Yep. And then uh, steep soda, uh, the guys in Manchester, they kind of craft it with their beautiful sodas that are all handmade as well. Fantastic. Can we have a taste? Absolutely. So they're both made with the original forest dry gin, is that right? Correct, yeah. Yep. And then Steep mix it with their soda. This is the hibiscus lemonade, right? Correct. Well, it looks amazing. I've been working really hard already today, so I'm, I'm going to start drinking this. <laughs> <laughs> so with hibiscus lemonade, uh, well, with both mm. the sodas, they are really low calories. They also contain 39 mils of gin, which is more than most other Tonics. Yeah, yeah, that is absolutely delicious and not super sweet either. No, 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 which is the best part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really refreshing, even better on a hot summer's day. Just what you need after a long walk as well. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so with the Boris Gin with grapefruit and rosemary infused, it has no added sugar. It's crisp, dry, refreshing, and just the most delicious soda you can ever imagine. Yeah, grapefruit and rosemary is one of our favourite flavour combinations as well. Yeah, it's our perfect serve for our regular gin and for tonic. Gin and tonic, right. It's amazing. So it kind of works seamlessly. Yeah, let's give it a go. Again, that's fantastic. So this is the original pub building. Like the oldest bit of the, Correct. Of the pub, right? Yeah. So it gives images of like roaring fires, old blokes sat around with their pints. Yeah, so we'll have Robinson's beer on tap, we'll have our own gin pouring by the gallon load. And a nice, again, a nice spot to rest at the end of a walk as well. You can't beat it, especially with a view like that. Yeah, stunning. So one thing I'm really excited to see is the cellars. Obviously it's a really old building, lots of history, um, maybe a few ghosts down there. You up for showing me? Absolutely. The cellars are one of the most like, beautiful part of the building. All right, so this place is pretty empty at the moment, isn't it, Tom? I understand you guys have got big plans for the place. Yeah, so the plan is to bring up our whiskey distillery and still here. So the big still that we saw down at the other distillery, yeah? Yeah, it's gonna be placed in this building and then we'll become the highest whiskey distillery in the UK. That's amazing. Means. All the whiskey's gonna be distilled right up here, popped into barrels, rolled across the yard and into the cellar for aging, for maturing, right? Yeah, so hopefully those uh, cellars have got the perfect condition. So great temperature, great humidity, all the whiskey's gonna mature in the best possible way it can. Uh, so we're super excited. Sounds delicious. Yeah, I'm Gonna excited. Have to wait a few years though. <laughs> <laughs> so that's us just about done up here with Forrest. It's been amazing to meet Tom and hear about all the exciting plans for this iconic pub being regenerated. The new distillery and the aging facilities downstairs sound really interesting too. I for one can't wait to come back, have a pint and a dram.